हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस वॉज माई पब्लिशर्स विश दैट आई लॉन्च शिमर स्प्रिंग टूडे हेयर इन ग्रेन्स ग्रेन्स इज द न्यू स्टूडियो ऑफ हावाकल एंड शाम्भवी पब्लिशर्स सो विदाउट एनी फादर डिले लेट मी लॉन्च शिमर स्प्रिंग फॉर यू सो दिस इज शिमर स्प्रिंग आ वन ट्वेंटी फोर ऑल कलर पेज बुक exclusively produced by hawakal publishers uh so you know i should i should thank my publisher bitan chakrabarti i'm grateful to all contributors we have 39 authors in this collection and i'm equally grateful to artist pintu bishash who has amazingly illustrated all the pieces which are there in this collection so shima spring is basically an anthology of prose and poetry and i wanted to explore the writer's perception of light or radiance like how we perceive light how the writers perceive light how do we explore the source of light and what light is like is light the bulb or the tube light or the lamp that we that we you know that we illumine during the evening according to me like to me light is enlightenment light is illumination light is realization light is understanding any understanding in the positive way or otherwise is enlightening that is light to me so i am now read out the names of the authors so we, we begin with akhil katyal alan brett amar aziz ananya das gupta ankur anu majumdar ashwini kumar basab mandal basudhara roy chandrashekhar dubey devika basu गायत्री मजुमदार गीता रविचंद्रन जागरी मुखर्जी झीलाम चट्टराज जॉन क्योंग्लास कांचन धर कटाचा डियाज कौशिक सेन मधु राघवेंद्र ममांगदाय मिलॉन मॉन्डोल नीरा काश्यप राजा चक्रवर्ती रानु उनियाल रोशेल पोटकर संजीव सेठी सतीश चंद्रन मातांप शिखंडीन सोनिया जे नायर सुदीप सेन तबीश नवज तसीर गुजराल टिया पॉल लोय टीम काल उमा गौरी शंकर उषा अकेला उषा किशोर एंड विनीता अग्रवाल हवाकल हैज डिस्पैच all the copies to the contributors and uh, you know to the buyers as well so far like as far as i know shudip da sudeep sen and sanjeev sethi in bombay they have received their copies and they have shared their comments by mail so before i read from the collection i would like to read their comments I'll start with the comment by Shudip Shen. In his mail, Shudip Da wrote, "As we end this difficult, dark year of lockdown and the raging pandemic, a fine, uplifting, and wonderfully curated anthology that celebrates light, hope, love, and desire is Shimmer Spring." This is a handsomely produced square full color art book format edited by Kiriti Sen Gupta paintings by Pintu Bishash 
and designed by Bitan Chakraborty, exploring the writer's perception of light, how they intuit its source and proclaim their realizations. It features nearly 40 writers from India, UK, USA, Pakistan, both poetry and prose. Alan Britt, in an ode to a poem, says, Just when I thought I was doomed, language begins falling like leaves from the ceiling of my despair. Ultimately, as the editor points out, it is radiance that liberates us from the current murkiness. It is a shimmer that sustains lucency. This book is a beauty to hold and read. So this was by Shudip Shen. Shudip Da, thank you so much for your very kind words. And now I'll read a brief comment by Sanjeev Sati, who lives in Bombay. Shimmer Spring reached me this morning, even before the demotic rhythms could kick off their call. On first blush, Shimmer Spring is a stunner, a handsomely curated anthology of captivating prose and poetry, pinned to be sharsh kaleidoscopic paintings, add another layer to the lines. Hat tip to Havakal, Kiriti Sengupta and Bitan Chakraborty for this vizzo. So that was by Sanjeev Sethi. Every editor has his or her favorites in a collection. Trust me, all the pieces by the 39 authors are my personal favorites. And it will be improper for me to single out any piece. And our time is limited. So I'll read three or four pieces from this collection. Maybe two prose and two poems. This is Ode to a Poem by Alan Britt. The poem recognizes itself just before its expulsion from solid terra firma and keeps on dreaming a new sensibility. Ah, just when I thought I was doomed, language begins falling like leaves from the ceiling of my despair. See, another leaf falls just now. Just now. Alan, thank you so much for contributing this poem to Shima Spring. The next poem is by Sanjeev Sethi, one of my favorites, of course. This poem is titled, Obicularness. This poem is about a poem. This poem is about poetry. This poem is about readers. So here is Obicularness by Sanjeev Sethi. Gaps in a poem are for the reader to tenant. Gaps in a poem are for the reader to tenant. Sometimes one belongs without belonging. The reverse is also true. Unusual language is hired as a huddle. Like a deity permeates an inhospitable terrain that is accessible to the inter intrepid devotee, the poet wishes for the devote to reach his or her occupa. This is an amazing piece. A lovely rendition by Delhi-based Neera Kashyap and her piece is called Incandescence. Ramana expounds the process of purification is unseen. 
coal takes long to ignite, charcoal kindles sooner, and with gunpowder it is spontaneous. I am stone barely warmed by the fire, sometimes a moth spiraling towards the radiance. Will it hurt? Will I scream? Delicate wings crisp to cinders. The blaze commands self-destruction of a patterned body hiding in the day, of a moth brain spinning in the night. And there is a note remembering the master Ramana Maharshi. There is a lovely sweet poem by Madhu Raghavendra. It's called Lost and Found. My toddler hides his ma's phone under a stack of pillows. He leans his head and checks if he has hidden it well. After a moment or so, he slips his hand under the pillows, pulls it out and laughs innocently. It makes me think of the pillows under which I may have forgotten my happiness. In these times of hopelessness, I quietly slide my hand under the pillows of my heart with hope. Madhu, this is a lovely poem and thank you so much for submitting this particular piece for Shema Spring. And now I'll read two prose pieces. One is by Shikhandin. Let me check the page number first. So it's a lovely prose piece called Rainbow. She's downstairs watching the fat brown birds that have so much to say to each other but disapprove of humans. She's the only one they tolerate, she claims. I believe her. I've seen them often sitting on her sill. Mama, Mama, come down, see the rainbow. I'm happy to hear her voice, but disgruntled nevertheless to be made to get up and leave my cause. Give me a minute, I say. Come to my bedroom window at least, she begs. You can't see it from yours. I go to her room. I can see nothing in the sky, but when I look down, I see my rainbow. All right. Tomato, red t-shirt and grey slacks. Hair blowing in the afternoon breeze. When she yells again, I tell her that my rainbow isn't in the sky. When she loves, it sounds like bells chiming to my dry ears. Come down, come down, mama see mine. I go down. I see the rainbow she's been wanting me to see. It's a quiet layer of seven colors arcing across the eastern sky. White clouds are sliding down its back. She's standing head tilted to one side ever so slightly and squinting, she points. I watch the colors for long moments with her. The air is a mist of saffron and the flowers are shy beneath her rainbow. The afternoon has hushed around us. The world is awash with soft light. Her brown birds watch us silently. Wait for your mates, I say. Show them your rainbow. You bet, she says, nodding like a sunflower in the wind. And then she laughs again, just for the sheer joy of it. The sound of her joy sinks gently into my being, sending undulating ripples. A stone in my heart seems to melt like ice cream on a warm day. I breathe in the sweet aroma of contentment without reason.
The wind carries her voice to places where songbirds compose their songs. I take it back to my room now, in a pocket in my heart where I store my precious keepsakes. Shikhandin, thank you for your rainbow, for sharing with us your rainbow. Thank you so much, dear friends, for watching this online launch of Shimmer Spring published by Hawakal Publishers. And let me congratulate my publisher, all the 39 authors and of course, the artist per excellence, Pintu Bishash. Thank you so much.